Hi and welcome to Minute Try Diorama. In today's video I'm going to be building a log barn. It's to go on a diorama for my early tiger one in Russia. There are some reference pictures that I'm going to be taking inspiration from, especially the way the logs join, but also when I'm painting it, the actual colours and the variation of colours on the actual wood itself. I want to keep the barn itself quite modular so that I can add it to the diorama when I want for painting and stuff. So I'll start off by making a cardboard mock-up and then I cut out the base for the actual barn itself from some 3 mil plywood that I've got. The cardboard mock-up actually all helps me when I'm laying out the diorama so you can get some sense of the size and scope of the diorama and also helps you with the laying out and the construction afterwards because you've got a, a good base for the building and what it's going to look like. I set the barn out in one of the corners. It's going to be a partial barn so you can see the interior. And I'm using a 60-30 angle so that it's not at right angles for the base. And it's also easier to mark out because I've got a 60-30 set square. It's best to do dioramas with as few right angles as possible. As in the buildings or whatever or the roads aren't, diag aren't at right angles to the base. So that you've got lines and it gives it just looks more appealing to the eye. The main construction of the barn will be made from these logs I've got. I've got them from a bargain shop. They're just garden edging. They're quite handy. They're only four pound for the for the pack, so good value for money. And they also look quite realistic. I will be painting them because I'm doing the top layer of the barn in balsa wood and it'll be quite hard to make the balsa wood look as realistic as those logs do as well as the fact that they're all the same color so because they'd be different trees they'd be slightly different tone variations so i will be painting the entire thing on my first attempt i'm using eight logs high for each side and i start off by connecting them together in groups of what two threes and a two using cocktail sticks and a drill and super glue which worked out okay until i came to actually put those bits together because the drill bit wasn't long enough to go through the wall in its entirety so I had problems allowing or getting the sections to stick together. Once the glue had gone off I cut a 30 degree angle on the one end of the logs that would fit onto the base nicely or look nice against the edge of the base and on the other end of the logs I took a 45 on both edges to make a point and then I used another log and cut a 45 degree V into it and then mated them together and glued it so that the 45 degree bit went into the upright of the log which I then glued to the base. It's quite hard to explain so there are some stills above to, to show you why, what I mean. So after my first attempt on the one side, which was the hardest because it had the 30 degree angle on it, I then did it again, but I glued two together at a time, then drilled through two more, making it three, and put the cocktail stick and gluing it through, and then built it up that way, which made it a lot easier because it was a lot more sturdy. Then I trimmed that to size, and I cut a D groove, in the end that attached to the pole using a, a round file and then super glued that onto the upright. I cut the, the circular groove into it so that it would mate up to the pole well and then it will be a lot easier to make it look like they're attached once I've applied the clay to it because I'm going to fill in the gaps between the logs with modelling clay which they would have done with mud to prevent the, the draft from going through the logs and also to make it a bit more sturdy. So now for the fun part, I get some modelling clay, I get two little pots of water, one with PVA glue in, two brushes and some kitchen roll. I roll the modelling clay into sausages and I apply some of the glue water to the gaps where I want the clay to be and just force it in with the end of the paintbrush and then just add the PVA glue to smooth it out using the clean brush and clean water 
to remove as much of the excess clay water or modern clay off it as possible. Like I say, I'm going to paint it because it's going to be hard to match the wood so it looks they both look natural but also because all of the logs are the same color i want to have a bit of variation but just go over the entire structure with this filling in the gaps with the clay and then start on the upper roof the upper barn structure and the internals of the barn will be done with a mix of i've got some thin plywood which i think is two or three mil and i've also got quite a lot of Balswood sheets which I'll be using to make the interior and the upper barn which will be panelled as opposed to logged. I did actually do, I've made two barns before this one which is why the video is taking so long to do. I did a one made out of plastic card which I wasn't very happy with and then I made another one with the same method using the logs but I did it in a more traditional construction method as in traditional to Russia where they cut the logs and lay them on top of each other but unfortunately when I trimmed it down to size the ends of the logs came off and I put it back together and it just didn't look good so I just decided to start again and do it this way because it was a lot easier and a lot quicker I will revisit that barn when I've got some more time but it took me five hours to get to here whereas this was a lot quicker it's not incorrect it's not correct but I like the way it turned out I was still going to do the top of it obviously but this this did take quite a long time to do and um, I just I did prefer the other one but like I say when I actually went to put it back together the ends of the wood fell off so I decided to do it this way it is a very time consuming way to build a barn but then I think if something's worth doing you might as well do it while and I enjoyed it like I say it did take a long time but once it's finished I'll be I think I'll be very happy with it I think you need to take as much time over scenery as you do with the vehicles otherwise why bother doing it because it will just like look like you've done a half-hearted job so I do like to take my time doing buildings as well as doing the vehicles and the interior is going to be quite fun doing on this as well with the, the stable interiors and stuff. Well, that's all I've managed to get done since the last video. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. And I'll leave you with some stills of the finished barn so far. I've managed to get some of the top structure done, but I'll cover that in the next video.